Hi everyone, I'm going to have a little go at colouring this um, computer screen design. Um, it is from the um, Johanna Basford TEDx Aberdeen download, so uh, you will be able to have a go um, without having to own a book or anything. I'm going to be using my Black Widow's pencils again just because they happen to be um, next to me. Now I'm going to start off with a grey. Um, I'm going to, I've got spider web is my grey and I'm going to do this sort of outside of the computer. Now I know computers are often black, maybe not grey, but uh, I uh, don't want it to look that dark. So I'm starting off with a darker layer of colour on the outside and then less towards the middle. And my idea is to try and get a little shine in the centre. Now I think this bracket piece here could be rounded. I'm going over the Johanna's lines there because she's obviously indicating that she wants it to be her shadow but I'm still going to go a bit darker on those edges and for this edge I'm just going to do this edge here and uh, do it a little bit darker in the corners and again less towards the centre. Hopefully it will give the idea that it's a little bit shiny. Because it's plastic, it's going to be shiny. And uh, it's more fun than just doing a hard solid colour, which I do do sometimes, but I don't want to for this particular picture. So there we are. There's a, I think that's quite a browny grey. I would probably tend to use a more silvery grey if I had one, but that's the only one in this set, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to do the things on the outside and then just use those to decide what colour to do the centre. So the first thing we've got here are these um, blackberries. So I'm going to grab my purple which is called amethyst and I'm just going to do a light layer over the whole of the blackberry in this colour. Now we know that blackberries are very black, often slightly purpley. I mean, you could do them as raspberries as well if you've got a nice raspberry colour. So uh, anyway, I'm going right over them quite a lot. So I want quite a lot of purple. And then I'm going to grab a black. And my black is just called um, Black Widow. And I'm going to go over the top of all of Johanna's lines with this black and I'm hoping that will add shape to all of these little rounded bits and make them look more rounded and also put in some shadow indication of shadow in between the little sections obviously this is quite small I do love colouring blackberries I do have a lot of videos of them but this one is quite basic so I'm just leaving it there and we have our strawberries in the opposite corner which I'm going to do next I think I'm going to use the um, watermelon colour. Um, I'm just checking you're in shot. It's in shot, which it is. And I'm just going to go over it in quite a lot of this. I want it to look quite vibrant. So a couple of layers without any sort of shading at the minute. And around now. With a strawberry, it's obviously rounded. So I'm going to try and put a little bit more colour on the edges here to give that idea and underneath where those leafy bits are. I'm not sure how much it will show up. If I had a sort of darker red in this tone I would use that but I'm happy with that. Now we have these sort of grassy bits. Now I don't know if they're heathers or if they're grass. I'm going to do them as a pinky heather just because I think it will be nice to have a splash of colour here. So I'm going to use my plum pudding colour and I'm just going to do them all in this colour. I just think it will make it look a bit prettier. And then I need to think as I'm doing this whether I'm going to do those objects on the screen using these same colours to sort of complement it or whether I want some different colours. Now obviously I'm going to do some green um, for these leaves and things. Well I say obviously, leaves don't have to be green. As we all know, some leaves aren't green. But uh, I will be doing green leaves. I think these are really supposed to be leaves, but I'm going to do them pink. I just want quite a lot of um, bright colour. I think it's rather nice. And uh, 
so I'm thinking about those greens as well um, I'm going to do them I think all in one shade and then I might add a darker one in a moment so I'm going to do them all in a toxic green so I'm going to go right through with this on every leaf now the reason I'm not doing each leaf in lots of different colours partly is because it's small it's going to be very time consuming but also because I want it to look less disorganised some people can have a big lot lots and lots of different colours and it looks fabulous when I try that it can look quite messy so I'm going to try to limit my colour palette because this is quite a small picture I think that helps as well but uh, it's up to you if you feel like you want to have a go and try all sorts of different colours then go ahead and see how it works and I suspect you will get a pleasing result anyway so just moving all the way around as you can see there's no technique to this I'm basically just filling in the lines which is great fun I find it really relaxing if you don't think about any sort of shading these look like berries but I'm going to do them green anyway I think it will balance it all out I do like colouring berries in a sort of berry colour but I'm going to leave it like that now this is quite a fluorescent um, colour it really looks very vibrant in um, the light but uh, I think it works well with pinks and purples because it's a slightly bluier um, green colour I find that the bluier greens work well with the purples and pinks and then a more um, yellowy green works better with yellows and reds and oranges but you can of course experiment and see what you like and you may not have these pencils anyway now because this there's a lot of this green I don't think I'm going to put any of it in the center because I think it'll be too much so I'm just going to put that aside to remind myself but I am going to grab my fang green and do a few details I'm going to sharpen it though um, just because it's oh it's broken in my sharpener Ew. That was uh, because I had a little bit of um, um, sharpenings caked around the um, around the blade, and if the blade gets sharpenings around it, then it can very easily snap the pencil. Um, that's why it's important if you've got a barrel sharpener like this that you empty it regularly, or else that can happen. And that we've got a nice sharp point now. It's probably going to snap actually, because that's a bit overly sharp. I put a new blade in here recently so you can see I'm just going over some areas with a, a little bit of this darker color <sighs> and it's a bit crumbly because it's so sharp but that's okay it isn't um, these pencils aren't usually really bad for that it's, as I say it's just because it's really sharp I am um, enjoying these pencils someone very kindly gifted these to me and uh, I found them lovely and I know there are others that they make but I have got so many pencils now and uh, it's lovely to have so much choice but I find it hard to justify buying more but uh, sometimes I do when it comes to uh, my birthday or Christmas people ask me what I want then uh, then I sometimes ask and they tell me that I've got too many but I'm sure that's not a thing <laughs> right our computer now this main screen color I think I'm going to leave white and I'm going to do each little box in a color and I'm thinking I might do them all the same color they're with the same color background so it sort of matches so I'm going to use my amethyst and I'm going to color so this one is just writing so I'm going to colour the whole thing in a light layer of amethyst because you imagine it's got writing on you probably need to read it now this looks like a picture so I'm going to do that a little bit harder to get a slightly darker shade of the amethyst here just so that it stands out a little bit from the uh, paler one and this one I'm going to do a lighter one again 
I think if we just mix it up a little bit it will make more sense. It would look odd if we had one that was pale and none of the others were. Um, this one I'm just going to do this border. I think that's uh, that's probably going to work. See this cloud? I might just leave the cloud white, but I'm not sure if um, I'm going to do the whole of this background. I'm going to do this one lightish as well. I think having purple um, displays on your computer would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Make work more fun. I'm lucky I usually enjoy what I do for my job. But it's not, not as fun as colouring. So now I'm going to grab some of the other colours that we use. So we use the plum pudding and the um, uh, watermelon. So I've got the watermelon. I'm going to do this arrow in this colour just because our watermelon is over here so I'm going to do some over this side as well so it balances a bit and I think I'll do these bars from the bar chart and maybe the bottom of this um, This I don't think I don't know whether that should be coloured in but who knows what does it matter and then with our plum pudding we'll just do the rest so we'll do this circle shape this could be a pie chart couldn't it I don't know, and this bit, and the bottom of here. Now we've got some white here which I'm not liking. Um, I'm wondering whether if we do the display in a pale blue, I've got this um, forget-me-not, then it won't look quite so bland. I think it's looking a little bit too much white going on. So just colour that in. Oh, it's just thinking that we shouldn't really do screens blue because we get the blue screen of death, don't we? If it's the wrong shade, it's much darker blue. I think that's better. Just uh, makes that white look make more sense, really. But what I am going to do is actually for those charts. I'm going to do, this is the um, watermelon again, and I think this this was in watermelon. I'm just going to do a lighter colour of it on above, like that, so it isn't white. I'm going to leave the cloud white. I'm going to grab my um, plum pudding and do the same on this picture here, just so we haven't got these sort of white gaps. Right, and I think I am done with that one. I think that looks like quite a pretty computer, doesn't it? Quite like to have a go with that one. Especially, I could eat those strawberries while I was working. Mm. Anyway, that's me. Um, thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.